What about public television in general? Do you think that, that it will continue? Public television has been underfunded, as I said, since the beginning. It, uh, there is no will, that, no political will that I can see or have seen in the last 20 years to provide the kind of funding that would make the original vision of public television possible. I think that uh, in the federal budget, it is a relatively small amount of money now. I'm not quite sure whether it's two billion or three billion. It's sort of a rounding error within the federal budget. Still, it's a it's a thorn in some people's sides in Congress, and they would like to see it eliminated. On the other hand, because there are some 300 odd telev public television stations that represent local constituencies, there is a strong a local constituency to keep public television. So, on the one, there's a tension. There's there's not much money from the federal government. People would like to get rid of it if they could, but the local, there are a lot of local people that want to keep te public television. So yes, I think public television in some form will continue for a long time, underfunded, relatively starved for money, and uh, not ever fulfill the uh, vision that it originally had. What about the future of television itself as a medium? Uh, it's changing. This is, again, my personal view. Uh, first, first, you've got to look at the uh, at uh, home video. Home video now provides more revenue than box office motion pictures. That is, the revenue from home video is larger than revenue from home box from box office motion pictures. This suggests that when people have the ability to have in their homes at a reasonable cost things that they want that they can see when they want them that that has great appeal the cable broadcasters believe that and they believe that video on demand is their future so that's the way cable is going now cable is in what 60 65 70 percent of american homes so what is going to happen to broadcast television in that kind of environment when people increasingly have the ability to have what they want at the time they want it? Uh, if you have TiVo, you can essentially do that now. You record whatever program you want, you watch it when you want, and you zap out the commercials. We do that in our house all the time. Everybody that I know who has a TiVo, a couple million people only, do that. That's what they do. That's not watching broadcast television in the way that we think of broadcast television. Um, I'm not quite sure how broadcasters will respond to these, these competitive elements. Uh, let's take a program like, oh, well, we'll take first The Sopranos. Sopranos is an extremely popular HBO show. Been on now for five or six seasons, something like that. You can get that on home video. So you don't have to watch it on HBO anymore, although HBO gets revenue from your home video. That's fine. What about Law & Order? The most popular shows, let's see, I think five of the, six, of the ten most popular shows on cable television are Law & Order in various reruns. You can get that on DVD now. So you can watch that when you want it. Also, the, as I've said, the cable broadcasters are going to that anyway, so you'll be able to do that with your cable set box at home in another year or two, I'm quite certain. Broadcast television, as long as they produce shows like Law & Order that can have spinoffs like, like I've described, they're in fine shape. But as you will have seen from the new season, or from the current, from the summer, it's the reruns, old reruns that are doing well rather than new shows, and last year new shows didn't do very well at all. If we go back to public television, public television did extremely well when it had no competition, but once you got, I'm just mentioning a few, A&E, CNN, ESPN, um, Bravo, let's take those four, and you look at the development budgets of those four cable broadcasters, cable producers. It's greater than the development budget of PBS. 
So you don't see tennis on PBS anymore. You don't see many original movies on PBS anymore. You see some news on PBS, but it's essentially one hour. Uh, public radio has gone up in ratings. Public television has gone down in ratings. Now you ask me about broadcast television. It seems to me it's facing something of the same kind of problem. That is, the, the cable companies, HBO, look at the Emmys that HBO garnered this Emmy nominations that HBO garnered this year and last year. They wiped out broadcast television. They have a better budget for that kind of work. And it will only increase, in my view, with home video, uh, with video on demand, I'm sorry, and the kinds of things that are done now. Another example of the kind of competition that broadcast television is facing, uh, Netflix. Are you aware of Netflix? Well, Netflix you subscribe to. You have three movies in your home all the time. You can watch any time. You mail them back. Two days later, you've got a new movie. We've got that in our home for the first time. The only things that we currently watch on television ordinarily are sports of, live sports events that we want to see. So I think that the, the broadcast television faces a set of, of competitive uh, challenges that I don't think they yet have figured out how to respond to. They, their, their, their revenue base has been advertising and when, when the uh, viewers are being drawn to all these other things, it's not quite clear to me what they're going to do. I think they, they will find responses, but I, I don't have that in my mind very well.